welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Sandhi in Paninian Grammar. In this lecture, we continue studying the Visarga Sandhi. Visarga Sandhi is part of the Pancha Sandhi Prakarana that we are studying in this course right from the beginning. So we studied At Sandhi first, then we studied Hal Sandhi and we studied various types within those Sandhi and several instances and various examples illustrating all those instances and types. Now currently we are engaged with the study of Visarga Sandhi. We said that Visarga Sandhi is the Sandhi that takes place of the Visarga. Visarga is the substituent and the substitute that is stated by various sutras in the form of either Sha or Jibhamuliya or Upadmaniya or S or zero substitute. All these they are called Visarga Sandhi. So what is a Visarga Sandhi once again? Visarga Sandhi is a Sandhi in place of a Visarga where Visarga is a substituent and in its place sounds like S himself or Sh or zero deletion. They are the substitutions. So Visarga is the input and all these which are represented here by the letter X, they are the outputs. This is what is Visarga Sandhi. And here are the sutras which state the Visarga Sandhi. This is the second set of sutras. The first set of sutras consisted of Kharavasanayor Visarjaniyaha, then Visarjaniyasya Saha, then Sharpare Visarjaniyaha, then Vashari. In this context, we also studied another Vartika which says Kharpare Shari Va Visargalopo Vaktavyaha and then Kupoka Paucha. This is the first set of sutras dealing with dealing with Visargasandhi. In this second set, we have following sutras. Sopadadau 8338, Enashaha 8339, Namas Purasor Gatyoho 8340, Idudupadhasya Chapratya Yasya 8341, Tirasonya Tarasyam 8342, Dvistrish Chaturiti Krutvorthe 8343. All these sutras we have studied in the previous lecture. Now in this coming lecture, we are going to study the remaining sutras in this particular set. They are Isuso Samarthye 8344, Nityam Samase Anuttara Vadasthasya 8345, Atah Krikami Kamsa Kumbha Patra Kushakarani Shwanavyayasya 8346, Adhashira Pade 8347 and finally Kaska Dishucha 8348. Let us study the sutras on the right hand side one by one. Let us take up the first sutra Isuso Samarthye for study. Isuso Samarthye 8.344 has got two padas Isusoho and Samarthye. Isusoho is 6 slash 2 of Isus. Isus is made up of two components Is and Us. So, Isusoho refers to part of Isus. So, this refers to the Visarjaniya which is part of Is or Us. The other word is Samarthye which is 7 slash 1 which in this case indicates the meaning 
in. So, in the semantic relatedness. So, this is an exceptional rule which is indicating some semantic relatedness as the input for this particular sandhi. Otherwise, in this sandhi chapter, we have noticed that by default meaning has no role to play at all as far as the sandhi is concerned. It is only the juxtaposition or the close proximity of the sounds which brings about the modification in either one of the sounds be it earlier or be it later or in both the sounds purva as well as para. But this is a peculiar case which says that semantic relatedness is extremely important for this sandhi to take place. The other words continued in the sutra are visarjani yasya, kupvoho, shaha and anyatarasyam. Visarjani yasya is 6 slash 1 of visarjaniya which means in place of a visarjaniya. This indicates the substituent which is a visarjaniya. Kupvoho is 7 slash 2 of kupu. Shaha is 1 slash 1 of sh that is sound sh and this is our substitute. Anyatarasyam means optionally. So, in place of a visarjaniya or a visarga substitute sh. This is the meaning of this particular sutra. This visarjaniya should be part of is or us and then these two words the one which has got is and the one which begins with k they should be semantically related. In that case sh will be the substitute which will substitute the visarjaniya and that too optionally. So, the meaning of the sutra is this. In the environment of semantic relatedness in the sentence, immediately before ku and pu, in place of a visarjaniya, substitute sh optionally. I repeat, in the environment of semantic relatedness in the sentence, that is samarthye, immediately before ku and pu, ku poho, in place of a visarjaniya, Visarjani yasya substitute sh, shaha, optionally, anyatarasyam. So, this is an example, sarpis plus karoti. So, the word sarpis is semantically related with karoti. Karoti means he or she or it does. Sarpis refers to ghi. And this is the accusative dual dvitiya ekavachanam of sarpis. The sentence meaning is somebody either he or she or it they are doing the ghi sarpis karoti. So, sarpis is semantically related or linked with the action of doing denoted by the verbal root kru in karoti. And so, Sarpis has got s which is immediately preceded by e. So, this is s semantically a part of sarpis which is semantically related to karoti at the beginning of which is k and so now isuso samarthye has got all its conditions fulfilled. So, it applies over here and substitutes this visarga in sarpihi into sh by sh. So, sarpihi karoti is substituted by sarpish karoti and finally, we get sarpish karoti as the output generated which is an optional output. So, we also have sarpihi karoti. Similar is the case with dhanush karoti. So, either we have dhanush karoti or dhanuhu karoti that is the optional form. Next, we go to the sutra Nityam Samase Anuttara Padasthasya. This sutra has got three padas Nityam, Samase 
and anuttarapadasthasya. Nityam means obligatorily. Samase is 7 slash 1 of samasa, meaning in the compound. Anuttarapadasthasya is 6 slash 1 of anuttarapadastha, which means not a part of the uttarapada. Uttarapada refers to the final component of a compound. Uttarapada is a technical term defined by the later Paninian grammatical tradition as the final component of a compound. The words continued are isusoho 6 slash 2 of isus visarjaniyasya in place of the visarjaniya kupuoho 7 slash 2 of kupu and shaha 1 slash 1 of sh meaning sound sh. So, visarjaniya is the substituent and sh is the substitute. This visarjaniya should be part of is or us and this ku or pu is part of the subsequent pada. Now, this is and us should not be part of the uttara pada and the two padas one having is or us and the other one having ku or pu, they should be both part of the samasa. In which case, the substitution sh takes place obligatorily and not optionally. So, the meaning of the sutra is the following. In a compound samasa, immediately before ku and pu, kupvoho, in place of visarjaniya, visarjaniyasya, which is part of is and us, isusoho, and which is not part of the uttarapada of the compound, anuttarapadasthasya, substitute sh, shaha, obligatorily, nityam. I repeat, in a compound, samase, immediately before ku and pu, kupoho, in place of a visarjaniya, visarjaniyasya, which is part of is and us, isusoho and which is not part of the uttarapada, anuttarapadasthasya, substitute sh, shaha, obligatorily, nityam. So, we have sarpis plus kundika and this is a compound and so s is the purvapada, kundika is the uttarapada. So, this s is appearing in the purvapada. Now, in place of this s, we have ru as the first substitute, then visarga as the next substitute. So, we have sarpihi plus kundika. Now, this visarga is part of is, this visarga is not part of the uttarapada, this is part of the purvapada and it is followed by ka. So, all the conditions are fulfilled and so, this visarga gets substituted by sh obligatorily, there is no option. And so we get the form Sarpishkundika finally derived. And similarly, we can also derive the forms Danushkapalakam in the same manner with all the conditions fulfilling for Nityam Samase Anuttarapadas to apply 8345. Let us proceed further. Let us study the next sutra. Ataha Kru Kami Kamsa Kumbha Patra Kushakaranishu Anavyayasya 8.346 This sutra has got three padas. Ataha which is 5 slash 1 of At referring to short A and Ataha means immediately after short A. Kru Kami Kamsa Kumbha Patra Kushakaranishu This is 7 slash 3 of Kru kami kamsa kumbha patra kushakarani. And so, this word kru kami kamsa kumbha patra kushakarani shu means immediately before all these elements. The other words continued are anavyayasya 6 slash 1, not being a part of an indeclinable, which is part of this sutra. Nityam is continued, which means obligatorily. Visarjaniyasya continues. 
that which means in place of the visarjaniya kupu voho continues that is immediately before kupu saha continues which is 1 slash 1 of sa which means sound sa samase continues which means in the compound and anuttarapadasthasya also continues which means not a part of the uttarapada so in this case visarjaniya is the substituent and sa is the substitute the other environments are a which should come immediately before a sa and kupvoho in that case kru kami kamsa kumbha patra kushak and karani these should be the following words and this should also be a samasa and the visarjaniya should not be part of the uttarapada if all these conditions are fulfilled the visarjaniya is to be substituted by sa and that too not optionally but obligatorily so the meaning of the sutra is the following in a compound immediately before kru kami kamsa kumbha patra kushakarani etc in place of a visarjaniya which comes immediately after short a and which is not a part of an indeclinable and which is not part of an uttarapada substitutes obligatorily which can be presented in the form of an equation like this if this is the pada and visarga comes at the end of the pada preceded immediately by short a followed by kru kami etc then in this case this visarga is obligatorily substituted by sa there is no option and so at plus visarga plus kru if this is the input at plus sa plus kru is the output generated by this particular sutra here are the examples ayaha plus karaha kara is derived from the verbal root kru by adding the suffix an so we have ayaha plus karaha now this visarga is at the end of the word ayas this is not an indeclinable ayas is purva pada and it is followed by kru so all the conditions are fulfilled and so this visarga is now substituted by sa following this particular sutra atah kru kami so we get the output ayaskarah similarly ayah plus kamah and we get ayaskamah then ayah plus kamsah and we get ayaskamsah and finally ayah plus kumbah and we get ayas kumbha in all these cases ayaha is the purva pada visarga is part of the purva pada it is not part of an indeclinable anavyajasya and it is followed by kama kamsa and kumbha and therefore all the conditions required for atakrukami to apply are fulfilled and so this sutra applies itself and the output generated is ayaskaraha ayaskamaha ayaskamsaha and ayaskumbaha in all these four cases similarly we have ayaha plus patram and the output generated is ayas patram and ayaha plus kusha and the output generated is ayas kusha finally ayaha plus karani and the output generated is ayas karani now let us look at the next sutra 8347 adhashirasi pade adhashirasi pade this sutra has got two padas adhashirasi and pade adhashirasi is 1/2 of adhas and shiras adhas shiras so adhas shiras is made up of adhas and shiras 
which indicates that Adhas and Shiras are the two Padas and of course this 1 slash 2 will be converted into 6 slash 2 which will mean part of Adhas and Shiras. Pade, Pade is 7 slash 1 of Pada which means immediately before. The words continued are Visarjaniyasya that is in place of Saha. Saha is 1 slash 1 of Sa which means sound Sa and this is the substitute. Samase which means in the compound. Anuttarapadasthasya which means not a part of the Uttarapada of the compound. So here we come to know that Visarjaniya is the substituent and Sa is the substitute. This Visarjaniya has to be a part of Adhas and Shiras. And the environment should be that of the word Pada. And then this Visarjaniya is substituted by Sa. Here are the examples. Adhas plus Padam and then this Sa is substituted by Visarga and this Visarga is substituted by Sa and so we have Adhas Padam as the finally derived form. Similarly, Shiras plus Padam and Sa is substituted by a Visarga which in its turn is substituted by Sa following this particular Sutra. Otherwise, this Visarga could have been substituted by an Upadmaniya by the Sutra Kopvokka Paucha. That does not happen and the Visarga is substituted by Sa and so we get Shiras Padam as the output generated. Finally, let us look at this Sutra Kaskadishucha which refers to a bag of words. And this bag of words is referred to as Akriti Gana. Akriti Gana is an open ended list which is kept open for inclusion in the course of time. So, this sutra has got two padas Kaskadishu and Cha. Kaskadishu is 7 slash 3 of Kaskadi. So, Kaskadishu means in the words beginning with Kaska. There is a list of words which begin with kaska and cha means and. So, visarjani yasya is 6 slash 3 which means in place of the visarjaniya. Saha is 1 slash 1 referring to the sound sa which means the substitute. Kupvoho is the 7 slash 2 of kupu which means immediately before kupu and anyatrasyam which means optionally. So, here we know that Visarjaniya is the substituent, Sa is the substitute. And if the word is placed in this particular list called Kaskadi, then a Visarjaniya is substituted by Sa when Ku or Pu follow. This substitution is optional. So, the meaning of the Sutra is the following. And in the list of words beginning with kaska, kaskadishu cha, immediately before ku and pu, kupoho, in place of a visarjaniya, visarjaniyasya, substitute sa, saha, optionally, anyatarasyam. I repeat, and in the list of words beginning with kaska, kaskadishu cha, immediately before ku and pu, in place of a visarjaniya, substitute sa optionally. So, if we have kaha plus kaha, where this is the visarga followed by k, and this is part of this list, and so this visarga gets substituted by sa, and we get the finally derived form kaska, that is kaskaha. Similarly, kautaha and kutaha. So, Visarga is substituted by Sa and we get the form Kautas Kutaha. These are the outputs generated by 
this particular sutra. As we said before, this is an open-ended list. If there are other words in which a visarga is seen substituted by sir, all those words and all such words can be included in this list of words called kaskadi. To summarize, we studied a peculiar type of sandhi in the form of substitutions in place of a visarga. This is the feature of visarga sandhi. The substitutions that we studied are s, sh, jivhamuliya and upadbhaniya. We also noted the zero substitute stated by a particular vartika. These substitutions apply in various environments, sometimes very general and sometimes very, very specific. We also noted that by default, meaning is not directly stated to be an input for these rules to apply and these substitutions to take place. There are exceptions which prove this particular by default statement which is also a feature of sandhi in general. Now we study another chapter which is related to the Visarga Sandhi, namely the Swadi Sandhi. This we do in the next lecture. Thank you for your patience.